Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading today here at Mad World Tarot. We're having a little bit of fun looking at some of the strange stories that spilled out or leaked out of the SBs the other night. And uh, one of the more uh, odd stories is about what Meghan Markle was wearing on the night because she was wearing that white uh, backless halter neck dress uh, very similar to the, the second gown that she wore at her wedding uh, that case was a Stella McCartney um, gown this one she wore is very similar and we heard that it was an Oscar de la Renta dress it was custom made for Megan it didn't look very custom made when you looked at the way it was puckering around the zip and um, fabric didn't look that um, it wasn't draping very well and stuff like that people were commenting about it but People magazine oh yeah it's Oscar de la Renta Vogue picked it up Oscar de la Renta and Oscar de la Renta gowns of course go for thousands of dollars and then out came a spokesperson from Stoud and said oh no it's one of ours it's from our, our spring 2024 collection and if you go and look you can see a very very similar dress and uh, it's going 50% off right now uh, I saw the price in pounds it's 218 pounds it was 435 pounds on the website that I went and looked at and of course Sarah Staudinger who's the designer is uh, the owner of the brand perhaps that's a better description of her is married to Ari Emanuel who was may not still be but at least he was uh, Meghan Markle's agent uh, talent agent I suppose you could call him so Tinseltown Tarot we're going to have a look at this just for fun because I think we need some fun and we are going to ask what is going on what was she wearing um, why the if she was uh, sending out incorrect information shall we call it that why why was this um, uh, wrong description of the dress put out let's word it like that and um, is she a little bit cash strapped because as I say the Oscar de la Renta dress would be going for a ton of money and the style not so much very affordable actually if you would like to buy it yourself um, and uh, then I want to know the consequences for her of if she has uh, made somewhat false claims about what she was wearing implicating Oscar de la Renta. How does this work? What happens? What are the consequences for her? What do they think about this? If you Google Megan and Oscar de la Renta, you find out, according to Google, that it is her favorite brand. No more. Dior, that's gone by the wayside. Oscar de la Renta is now her favorite brand, which I find quite interesting. So we want to know uh, what she was really wearing. We want to know why perhaps she uh, or somebody close to her put out information that may not have been correct. And we want to know if she can not perhaps afford the good stuff or the seriously good stuff. And we want to know the consequences for her of this um, it certainly turned into a little bit of a, a story uh, people are ra raised eyebrows about this and what is going on and uh, perhaps not the best look shall we just say choosing my words very carefully though this is tarot for fun and entertainment and it is all my opinion it is all speculation we just read energy on these stories many of which are just rumors and bits of gossip and there is of course a disclaimer in the box below please read it please do your own research form your own opinions about all of these stories so there we go a little five card really short readings today and just a little bit of fun see what's what with what Megan wore or didn't wear we have the five of pentacles in reverse oh dear that is the outcast card the five of pentacles um, I had an idea this would show up I thought it would show up over there 
but it's showing up as our underlying energy. Five of Pentacles is you can see the bigger going past, cast out, lived out of the theater and um, very as isolated, um, alone, broke. The Five of Pentacles is broke energy outcast energy exile energy shunned energy uh it's in reverse trying to perhaps gloss over how bad things really are trying to be part of the in crowd see i can afford uh, top tier I mean it's the ladies of a certain age I think if you're it's the go-to designer still Oscar de la Renta if you're going to uh, an awards event like that or whatever sort of top-notch society event uh, you, you know you can't go wrong pretty much five of pentacles in reverse tells me as an energy reader that there is some intention there to um, gloss over the fact that might not be able to afford that sort of level of couture and might also um, be want to be seen to be more in with top designers than she actually is that's how i am reading the energy and that is my opinion that is our underlying energy in this reading very interesting situation situation we have the seven of cups in reverse ah very interesting card as well wow uh it's the card of illusion the seven of cups of make believe really look see i have all these opportunities i have all these possibilities it's also pie in the sky being quite deluded it's in reverse and so whatever we were supposed to believe and whatever spin we were supposed to fall for uh, whatever pretend uh, pretend let's pretend I'm wearing Oscar de la Renta um, I'm being snarky then oh no actually uh, soon a little hand went up and said no 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 it was a stout uh, it was one of ours and uh, so that little um, scenario that little pretend scenario soon disappeared and the reality of the situation soon set in very interesting for our situation that we are dealing with so tell us uh, what was she wearing was she wearing oscar de la renta was she wearing stout i've got the three of cups in reverse uh, that's the friends card it's having a good time it's uh, relaxing enjoying yourself when it's upright it's in reverse um it's uh, certainly she's not uh they're, they're not a fan of hers i would say um the oscar de la renta side of things not friends of hers she's not tight with them whatever this five of pentacles in reverse is trying to manifest or trying to pretend um it's, it's the not friend card it's a sad card um you're not celebrating you're not in the popular group you are you know actively left out uh, it's a bit of a mean girl's vibe so i'm getting that she's not wearing the top-notch stuff she's not with the the high-end stuff she's not in that inner circle there and she's sad about it it's it's a, it's a source of um, disappointment for her um even in quite serious um uh, anguish or anxiety even that's coming off this three of cups in reverse that she's not she hasn't made it into that inner sanctum we she tried very hard with Dior for a while um she's really done Oscar de la Renta no favors there was that uh wild um sort of a blue it looked like a, a bedspread with the, the toilet paper fascinator as people called it when she was still a working royal cough cough and was going to a wedding one of harry's friends i think was getting married and it was a very unfortunate look and there have been others so okay i think we have our answer i'm blathering let's move on to why the the uh puff piece that she was wearing oscar de la renta when the indications are in this reading anyway and from what stout has said that she was not why the misstatement uh it's ten of cups uh wanting to be with the in crowd i'm getting with that ten of cups 
it's the happy happy card everything's perfect i mean you've got the champagne um tower there the waterfall of champagne and it's just living your best life ten of cups she wants us to believe this and i see this with the five of pentacles in reverse and with the seven of cups showing up as well she wants us to believe that she's living her best life that it's champagne she wakes up and it's champagne and then she's out to lunch with the ladies at lunch and it's more champagne and then it's champagne later on and it's flying to Paris for fittings and stuff like that. That's the Ten of Cups. She really, really, really wants us to believe that that is her life. It is that glamorous. And we often get these comments and particularly guest speaker in the New York Post comment section tells us we're just jealous because she's living this glamorous life. And we can't deal with how basic our lives are. She's living in a mansion in Montecito. And her life is just so glamorous. And she's married to a prince. Yeah. Ten of Cups always uh, over the top. Um, look at me. It's the, those people who are forever posting on Instagram, Facebook. And look how perfect my life is. And then um, you find out uh, afterwards, like that awful story with that mother in America he was doing terrible things to her children I'm not saying for one second that Megan is in that category but you know it's always just a little bit much and then you find out that really actually no that's not what's going on in their lives is there a money problem we already have the five of pentacles on the table as our under underlying energy so yes there is a money problem that for me as a, as a reader is a kind of an obvious energy to read here in this spread but let's see what else universe wants to tell us maybe she's working very hard to change that oh we got the hermit in reverse oh dear uh -huh. um very similar to this five of pentacles in reverse the hermit in reverse because being shunned it is the Harry card, of course, the Virgo, Major Arcana, the Hermit, and it's in reverse, which means the Virgo is disappearing. He's out of there. I don't think he's footing the bills. I think he's planning his getaway. Uh, he may not make it out, but I think at the moment, current energy, I think that is what's going on. I don't think that he is uh, contributing to the funds anymore. That's my interpretation, but it is also left out. The hermit goes away, they withdraw, they isolate themselves while they're having a big think and going through stuff and figuring things out. It's a healthy energy when it's upright. In reverse, it can be too isolated, too alone, um, too deluded and misguided. It's sitting under the Seven of Cups, which is very delusional. Um, so not really finding your own true north, not listening to your own inner wisdom, not listening to anyone else's good advice, being lost, being alone, being very cut off, but also cut off, I suspect, I'm speculating, cut off from Harry and Mummy Diana's trust fund. And possibly a lot of people speculate, I have read on it and it looked likely, it looked possible that there is some money coming from a trust fund that the late uh, Queen Mother set up. I know a lot of people say she died broke, she had no money, the Queen had to settle her debts. Uh, a lot of that was clocked up after this alleged trust fund was set up. So I don't know. Um, I have had indications that there is money still coming to him at some stage. We'll see. Um, how bad is it for Megan that she has seemingly uh, sent out this statement that she was uh, dressed in a bespoke Oscar de la Renta gown and then no, actually styled. So how bad is it for her uh, with the big design houses, with, with Fallen Star, it's a star in reverse. It is bad. It's bad because people see it for what it is. The star is falling, the shine is off her. Um, despair, it's a kind of hope when it's upright and faith and being on the right path. And I have two cards in this reading, in fact, even you could say three or four that are telling me that she's on the wrong path, that she's not following her own uh, or, or her best guidance not her own guidance because that's the vision board and that's the manifesting and that let's pretend energy that I think she spent a lot of her life in of let's pretend and then magically it happens um, she's a she's a powerful manifester but the manifesting ability seems to have 
run out for some reason. We might look at that. It's an interesting question. Star in reverse. Uh, or the shine is off. She uh, she really looks quite pathetic. And she certainly isn't with the in crowd there with the three of cups in reverse. She tried and she failed and people see it. It's not hateful energy. It's not, oh my goodness, it's the ruin of her. That would be Ten of Swords. This is just people seeing it. People are noting it. And, and it, it really is quite pathetic for someone who tried so hard to move in those elevated circles and really could have. She got herself there. She manifested it. She manifested her way into the royal family i mean it doesn't get more glamorous than that really and then uh she's wearing a styled uh dress for a couple of hundred pounds or dollars and um, claiming it's oscar de la renta ouch that is the reading and thank you for watching i'll see you again tomorrow